Hey everyone, welcome back, Keith Floyd, one by five games. Today is Mystery Monday. I I have been looking forward to this Mystery Monday for months. In fact, it took me months to even get this box. I ordered two from someone, uh, I don't know, three hours away from me in Arizona. And they still took almost two months to even send it. In fact, I had to email them and say... Hey, yo, bro, WTF, where is my Joe Jusco's Edgar Rice Burroughs collection fantasy art trading cards? I want that shit. And he finally sent them. So, a little bit of backstory here. When I was a kid, there, we had uh, the public library and I frequented it a lot. And they had a banned book list. There's a ban. There's a list of books that they were trying to ban, um, including uh, Rosemary's Baby, 1984, um, Catch 22, uh, Tarzan, and even the Bible. All right. So they were kind of going off the rocker. They wanted to ban a bunch of books. It wasn't the library. It was uh, this. This was a certain group. It, it was kind of like Tipper Gore thing. If you don't remember the 80s where she was trying to ban all rap music. Um, look that up. I, I'm not going to go into that detail here. But it was kind of a similar situation there where if it was against any Christian morals, they were going to go off. And Edgar Rice Burroughs and Tarzan fell under that umbrella. And like I said, the Bible did too. That was a different group. It was really bizarre. I even did a high school um, article for the high school newspaper on that. Um, you know, taking my stance. But my main goal when I saw the list was to read every single book on that. And I did. Uh, Fahrenheit 54 was one of them. Um, and... And that kind of fueled my high school and even some of my Marine Corps when I was in the Marine Corps. Uh, what I read, what I did with my free time, right? So uh, I read, like I devoured books. I would devour so many different books. It was, it was crazy. But anyways, I have a, a love for Edgar Rice Burroughs here on the on the left. And you have Joe, I call him Joe Jusco. Uh, I feel like I'm probably pronouncing his name incorrectly. Um, but uh, he did some uh, amazing artwork and um, kind of lended to this fantasy artwork world, if you will, of the 50s and 60s and even the 70s. And uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs, I mean, it was a... If you read Tarzan, if you look at those books, it's like one of the, if you think about the world and the earth and the places left to explore, all that's been done in the last one to 200 years. And we're kind of on the ass end. We don't get to explore anything anymore. Sure, we get to see some beautiful countries and all that stuff and airplanes take us to the next continent like it's going out of style but like what he's talking about is like legitimate exploratory shit that we just will never get to experience in our lifetime at least on that level unless unless uh ellen musk gets us to mars or even venus or some of the other weird planets he's talking about anyways i digress I digress. Tarzan was a huge factor in my childhood. Just a huge influence. And they had uh, 24 novels. 24 novels directly related to the Tarzan franchise. And they had a handful afterwards and a couple juvenile books. But for me, the, the core 24, I tried to read them all. I honestly don't re recall at this age. I mean, that was 
God damn, that was almost 30 years ago. I don't want to age myself, but yeah, I started reading Tarzan about 12 or 13. That's one of the things I loved about my my mom and, and her husband, as much as a douche as he was. Uh, they always inspired me to read, or they didn't hold me back. They always encouraged me. So, I got to do that. Anyways, this is amazing. So, we have fancy art train cards. We have six cards per pack, 36 packs per pack box 60 card series so this was released in 1994 at that age i would have been uh, 17 and i really would have expected me to collect the entire set within 10 to 15 booster packs because 60 divided by six right um of course i know better these days look for randomly inserted metallic storm and autographed cards. Now, if we look at the back, we got um, if 60 all new pieces by Joe weren't enough. The card backs not only contain informative text, but also classic Burroughs illustrations by such artists as Frank Frazetta, Boris Vallejo, Neil Adams, Roy Krenkel, and J. Allen St. John. First in line of FPG gold cards. And I have no idea if FPG is still in business. I would suspect not. This series is produced on 24 point stock. With laminate on each side. That's always trouble. As we know by the tops. Pokemon cards. And of course the Fleer Spider-Man cards. Um... Randomly inserted in the six card packs are six different metallic storm cards, which when placed together form a gigantic six tick, six tyke, featuring Burroughs' John Carter of Mars, which I read also. I was a huge uh, Burroughs fan, actually. Edgar Rice Burroughs read a lot of fantastic science fiction, which to this day is kind of untouchable also look for 1000 randomly inserted foil stamped and autographed you see it's it's in, in air quotes cards so welcome to the jungle baby you might as well just put baby and reference uh, guns of roses there for the very best in train cards from Edgar Rice Burroughs Jojo's Go and FPG now um Edgar Rice Burroughs, born 1875. I don't know when he died, but I want to say it was 1904, 1950s, 1960s, something like that. I don't think he got to live to see his uh, series really, you know, jump to that next level. Or he was, a, I want to say he was a starving artist. I could be wrong about that, but. They were doing TV series. Don't get me wrong. They were do He did have a TV series of black and white. God damn. That but that was so long ago. I don't even. I want to say it was the. Maybe it was the 60s. But I don't know if he was alive back then. Alright. So. Looks like the pack guard's all the same. I'm bust. I don't even care. Like. I'm not trying to preserve anything here. So I'm assuming the art, the autograph is just a replica. I'm pretty sure he had no hand in that. It was likely his estate that determined, or that let that through. Let's see, Joe Juice goes. Edgar Rice Burroughs collection, six cards per pack, six type. I don't like the six type. What the fuck does that even mean? All right, we're about to find out. Oh my god, they opened on the wrong side. I'm already not a fan. Oh, they. St oh my god, look at that. Oh, they're just a brick. Oh, I hate the goddamn 
I hate the gloss on this shit. Alright, so that's... Oh, come on, really? Okay, so we got the, the ape. Number 35, okay. <laughs> oh my god, they are so thick. This is a, this is not a jump. These are thick as shit. Can you? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even... Oh, it's gr oh yeah, there you go, baby. <laughs> She's in the bikini, he's in the thong. Whatever. Can you hear that? Oh, that's gross. <laughs> oh, the frickin' 90s. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, how am I gonna even sort through this shit without ruining it? Oh my god. If only they knew now what we know now. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't peel that one apart for you? Here, let me, uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm just opening bricks right now, because it's funny. <sighs> so one of, the, one of the reasons why <laughs> these are literally these are literally sticking together. Like, I'm just gonna open these and then open a, a handful here, and, and then I'll get to separate them. Uh, what? <laughs> I can't even fucking open these things. Oh my god, god, what the hell? Oh, there we go. I, I just want a I just want one signature card and I will Oh that one separate. Oh this <gasps> Oh what I get Oh that's one of the uh the special cards What is oh my god it's so fucking thick it is ridiculous Look at the shine Joe Juice goes John Carter of Mars Man that is that's a freaking phenomenal card. It really is like five cards thick, but wow. Okay, I will accept that. By the way, I have a second box. Why the? Oh my god! I'm like tearing my fingers apart. Just come apart already. Oh, another brick. I'm just gonna open up this. Uh, Quadrant, if you will. <laughs> and then we'll uh, break apart the bricks. The bricks, the brick of brick of bricks. Yeah, I I do love Redman. All right, so this one kind of came apart. Okay, so we got a crocodile. Oh my God, look how thick those damn things are. That's like thick with the triple C. Holy shit. I mean, the art is amazing. Don't get me wrong. That card is jacked. That card is jacked. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that warp there. See ya, bro. I don't deal with that shit. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna give me a double of the same card in the same pack? That's bullshit. See, and the, and the other thing is these these cards aren't placed evenly, right? So I took this brick out. You could see how uneven these cards are laying. It's not like uh, Pokemon or, or even Magic where they slide around a little bit. That's okay, but these are so glossy. <laughs> Oh, hello. What in the hell is going on there? I do not remember that from the books. The sound of these coming apart kind of, it just cracks me up a lot. I was talking, I was saying that the reason why Tarzan 
was on the naughty list was mainly because of his killing of African tribal members. Which, you know, honestly, in this day and age, look at, look at how god awful those stacks are. You know, me, I, to me, it means a lot more in this day and age. Oh, damn, she can damn near naked than it did back then when they were trying to ban it. Um, I don't know, it, it's hard to tell, you know, oh my, dude, her, her nipple be popping out, uh, that's legit, you know, and, and um, I don't know how I feel, you know, the cancel culture, of course, to me, is shitty. Um, there are times and eras where certain things are said or done that don't, that we don't agree with. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. There's certain things that we shouldn't agree with and we should change. And I'm okay with that too. What I'm not okay with is trying to change history to match what you think should be right. History is what it is. Um, for people to try and change that to satisfy their, their goals, to me, is deceptive. And, you know... It's, I don't know, someone may come around and try to cancel me, and, and that's okay. If someone felt that way, honestly, I listen to, oh, there you go, there's the cup, there's the box art. That's, that's fantabulous. Keep that right there. I try to listen to all sides. I don't close my mind, and I hope that I get a conversation from all sides. I don't want this, you know, mysterious, you know, you shut down. I, I don't want that. I want people to talk. That's all I want. I don't care. And I want everyone to kind of chill. Like, this whole everyone needs to be right. Drama or be it's bullshit. Honestly, not all of you need to be right, man. Some of you are wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. It's all good. I can accept it. But this whole everyone has to be right bullshit, just god damn. Y'all fucking drive me crazy to be honest with you. I'm both sides. Both sides drive me fucking crazy. I, I don't care. It's just done. I, I'm done with all of you. I don't really care if you think you're right or wrong. You're just blowing hot air and it just gets old. Like, look at... Like, you couldn't do that anymore. Neanderthal, Neanderthal. <laughs> Scooping up a cheeky chick. Man, she got curse too, yo. That's body positivity if I've ever seen it. Actually, this art, it just totally captures the era, though. That era. There we go. There's the box art again. There we go. Oh, is that the cheat? Oh, look at the cheetah's booty, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that shit could be in a Cardi B video. I just want everyone to like like each other, and I can't seem to. I don't even comprehend how that could ever happen. Is that a fucking Nazi? 
No, I'm pretty sure this is British dude. Which, you know, for Africans, it's probably as close as you can get to a Nazi. You can hear that from me. That's the problem with history, dude. History is legit. Oh, shit. History is legit. You can't change it. You can't change what the fuck happened. We murdered so many people. We, being all of us, doesn't matter what race, culture you are. We, as humanity, have murdered a ton of people. And it's not right. <laughs> it's not right. And we're learning this. Uh, we are learning it, which is good. But you can't destroy history because of it. And I'm going to lose like a hundred subscribers just because of that. And I'm okay with that. I ain't ever afraid of talking truth. Oh shit, we got another. Oh, see, when you gotta lose. Oh, damn! See, when you gotta lose pack, it's not that fucking brick. Uh, then you get a piece of the puzzle. Oh, man. MS4. The band. Alright, so we put that next to MS. So supposedly, that's MS5. That doesn't look like it goes together to me. I'm not sure what the hell we're going to talk about. Alright, so far two, two special inserts. I don't know. I'm done politicking. You motherfuckers just get along. I love all you Left, right, center. It doesn't matter to me. Oh my god. And when did sexuality become a thing? I didn't get it when I was growing up in the... In the 90s. We're like 2020, dude. I don't give a shit where your sexuality is. Just be you. I support you. All of you.